What innocent item gets suspicious if you own too much of it? Once I saw a couple who were clearly on meth buying a shit ton of baby formula at the grocery store. At the time I was like, that's sad. They have a kid and they can't breastfeed it because they are on drugs. Maybe a week later I saw a post on Facebook about how many drugs are cut with baby formula, which is why it's a high risk item for large scale retail theft. So, baby formula. For me water. My neighbors had well water and would dry up. They asked if they could run a hose and put it in their well they would pay what was owed. Did this out at last summer no big deal they paid. Then they bought a big above ground pool. Filled it for them. They always paid my part was always around the same. So I wasn't bent out of shape. One day the water meter guy knocked with an officer wanting to know why I was using so much water. I explained showed the many hoses to reach my neighbors and they were there to help explain. They explained to me that much water usage was throwing a red flag. So they were sent out to investigate to make sure no marijuana growing was happening. Plot twist. Your neighbors were growing weed. Plot twist. The water meter guy was looking for a supplier. I worked at a pool supply store. They sell an extra strong peroxide as an alternative to chlorine. IDKY but we had to report large purchases to the FBI. Reported this guy after we used his customer info to search his address on Google Earth. It was rural and had a few different outbuildings. Seemed sketchy. FBI got back to us a few weeks later. He was using the chemical to clean animal skulls he bought from a slaughterhouse. Then he carved the skulls and sold them. The FBI lady said he showed her his whole process and it was pretty impressive. I've never thought of using peroxide to clean my skulls. Till I guess. Edit. Why is this so popular? They're already dead and sore to clean when I snag em. <laughs> Duct tape. I'm just practicing my kidnapping skills like not actually kidnapping people yet. Same I just need to find out where she lives. Just do it when she gets home from school. I saw what I would describe as a suspicious amount of peanut butter in the bed of a truck once. I think 2 or 3 12 pack cases. Preppers like it because it lasts a long time, is calorie dense, and has lots of protein. Edit. Okay so it's not great for protein, but it's still pretty dense energy, lasts a long time, and goes well with lots of other bland foods. Edit 2. So now people are telling me that it does have lots of protein, and I don't know who to believe. You guys can duke that out. I love having lots of peanut butter and lots of honey. Both have many uses and stay good for a long time. I don't think honey ever expires. Hand sanitizer bottles. What? Are you dabbing with it? JK. Don't do that. Don't kink shame me. For you. Go for it. I was just warning the innocents. Tampons. A guy we know hoards them because he thinks if the government collapses they will become a hot commodity that he can use to trade. I'm talking a shed full of boxes. All kinds. Unbeknownst to him menstrual cups exist. And rags. Edit. Well this blew up. He's an odd bird. There is also a shed full with bins of socks. He wears them once, tosses them in a rubber made bin and once filled it gets placed in the shed. People have suggested donating them, but he says he doesn't want others to have access to his DNA. Mental illness is real. He picked a strange stamp and covered hill to die on. <laughs> Toilet paper you hoarding ducks. I need a TP and paper towel today in the regular course of me running out of such things. I felt like I was getting judgmental looks walking home with a regular size pack of each. Just feel lucky you were able to find any. I'm down to two rolls and all the supermarkets here are out. Kidneys 2 is enough. 3 or more is going to raise some questions. Edit. Thank you for the pie slices. Also could be genetics. Went to school with a girl that had 4 full working kidneys. She didn't find out till she had to get a scan for some reason 10 years later. She still got the 4 kidneys. Edit. My inbox blew up cause of this comment lol I don't know much about her tbh cause she was a friend of a friend. Here are some answers though. Yes, she can donate her kidneys as they are working, but she has blood disease that makes it risky. Maybe hemophilia, so it would only be for an emergency. It's too risky for her to go under surgery. She doesn't have any issues besides having to get checked yearly to make sure all kidneys are working well, and they haven't shifted. There is a risk of her renal tubes getting tangled inside her, but it's a low risk. As far as I know, she's doing well still. I still follow her on the book of faces. 
haven't talked to her in years, and was never her friend, so I pretty much lost contact. Edit 2, superpower wise she is more resistant to toxins, processed by the kidneys, but has a higher risk of kidney stones. I guess her pee is extra clean cause of it though lol. Spoons. I've got 28,000 spoons. Not different ones, all the same. They are all over the house, but I've also got a spoon room, where most of them are neatly organized. You don't want a spoon mess, it needs to be neat. I love my spoons. Once in a while I will invite people and most of them pretend everything is fine. I think they are uncomfortable, but don't dare say anything. None of them ever accepted a second invitation. Sometimes I feel lonely, and when this happens, I take one of my spoons, go to bed and we cuddle. This has always comforted me. Edit. Thanks for all the PMS and replies and all else, but of course I don't have 28k spoons. That would be insane. Like really literally insane. I just like to write what I think is funny stuff. <laughs> Clicky pens apparently. I once was doing a personal project and I needed tiny springs. I knew my dad was going to be going around to some antique slash thrift stores, so I told him to get me a bunch of clicky pens. At one store, the guy watched as my dad was meticulously picking out all of those pens from a bowl of pens. He eventually said I'm gonna have to ask why you want those pens so bad. My dad explained, and they had a laugh. Pictures of a person. But it's okay if the person is Nick Cage. I have a sequin pillow that looks solid red, but when you wipe all the sequins the other way it's Nick Cage's face. Edit. Further down I'll link the one I have. You'll act like I got it from some hidden dealer of antiquities in Mogway or something. Just search Amazon my dudes. What a beautiful pillow. Cash. If you have too much cash it's automatically an assumption that you traffic drugs in some way. I wait tables and used to live in my car I got pulled over and the cops searched my car and found a few months worth of tips. I already was homeless I figured I would save up a buy house. The cops lifted my mattress and found 15,000 in small bills had my entire vehicle torn apart and not put back together and it took like a month to get my cash back. Seriously cops are so shitty to you when you're homeless. Lube. You can buy a 50 gallon barrel on Amazon. One day I'm gonna make a really long slip and slide, submerge myself in the barrel, and slide. Edit. Thanks for the awards kind strangers. And they say the American dream is dead. Silly man. You dunk yourself in it, and then enter an amateur's wrestling competition with a cash prize. They can't beat you, if they can't get hold of you. If there's no rule against it, I may do it. <coughs> cough syrup. Oh yes mom I have 30 bottles of Tussin for my chronic cough don't judge broken leg just rub the tussin on it and when the tussin runs out just throw some water in the bottle and shake it up mo tussin i would say scissors but that would be self-incriminating so single socks if they are the same type does it matter is there a difference between left and right socks bleach can i have 12 bottles of bleach please Faisal. why she got her hands on her face cause she's got a beard dolls my grandma used to have about 70 porcelain dolls old creepy ones. God bless her, but when she passed we donated them to the dump. As creepy as they are those may have been worth finding a collector for. <coughs> freezers. Not if you have a farm 3 freezers and 2 big fridges. Where else would you put all the meat? Cook em all, and store them in my belly. <coughs> Pseudoephedrine. What is that? The good cold medicine. It's also used to make meth. Clocks, either all exactly synced, or all way off. Lmao my stepdad was a woodworker and his expertise was making clocks. There must be 25 of them at my parents house. How do you avoid the constant ticking from driving you insane? Only a few of them had a loud tick, mainly the grandfather and grandmother clocks in the living room and kitchen. The others were easy to tune out. And yes, he legit made a grandfather clock on own. The clock itself he purchased and installed as an insert, but the body he made himself with intricate designs cut in with a scroll saw. Edit. Yes grandmother clocks are a thing. They're smaller and typically hang on the wall. When I was an undergrad, me and my two friends lived together in a house. Whenever we saw a yard sale, we'd stop and buy any reasonably priced clocks. We'd then hang the clocks on the walls of the house in asymmetrical places, and we'd leave them on whatever time they were at, even if they were dead. 
so our house had nearly a hundred clocks after four years, all of which said different times and several of which made faint ticking sounds. My roommate who was the least enthused about this decor would wake up after a particularly drunk night hungover as hell and just scream angrily what freaking time is it? As he walked from room to room. Anyway, when we moved out, we had our own yard sale with only clocks for sale. People thought we were freaks, but we sold about half of them. Sometimes I still hear the unsynchronized clicking today when I lay down at night and close my eyes. That sounds like tinnitus, but with extra steps. Extra clocks, for sure.